Welcome back everybody, Broben here. Today we're going to be discussing my top 10 beginner tips for the forest players. So some of these tips may be very obvious, some of them may not be. I made this list based on things that I would have appreciated knowing when I first started playing the forest. So without further ado, let's get straight into the list. The first one's extremely obvious and simple, but if you build a bench and sit down, you can use that to restore your stamina. Other alternatives to doing this are by consuming energy mixers or sodas. So this is a nice, cheap, simple way to get some free stamina. So these next two points are going to go straight towards hunting, because it's something you need to do at the very beginning of the game. So number two is spears are a one-hit kill to deers. Now it will take you a little bit of practice to get used to with the aiming and all, but once you've got it nailed, it's a very easy hunt. Deers are also very useful because one kill gives you a full inventory of generic meat. It will also give you some deer skin which you can use for cold protection if you're going into the north. Number three, so rabbits are probably one of the most essential things at the very beginning of the game. It's used for a lot of stuff with crafting such as the pouch, stick bag, rock bag, all of those you could do with early in the game. So an easy way to kill rabbits is by using these small stones. Now I wish I knew this right at the beginning because this would save me a lot of time chasing rabbits. Basically all you have to do is aim the little reticle where the rabbit is and then just click throw. It'll be a one hit kill, easy drop, and then all you have to do is go and skin it. This also applies to lizards, squirrels, and all of the smaller animals. Tip number four is something that I've only just figured out myself after probably 200, 200 or so hours in the game. So you want to make sure that your character is well fed. Trust me, if you don't, this will come and bite you later on in the game. If your character is underfed, then your strength will suffer and it will slowly decrease. Also, your weight will slowly decrease and it will be a pain to get back up. Take it from someone who's learned the hard way. Tip number five is kind of tied to tip number four. Just keep an eye on your stats. All of your stats are very important. Constantly check your book, because if, for example, you are infected, you will need to take a low to cure. Otherwise, you will have lower stats temporarily. Also, if your character's quite tired, you want to make sure that you're sleeping right. It's all very important, so if you're wanting a full guide on how to manage and maintain your stats, I will put the link to a guide at the top right of the screen right now. Go ahead and click it, check it out. It's got some very good pointers. This next tip is very good for beginner players who perhaps aren't that good in combat. So around the world, you will find little tins of red paint. Now, if you go ahead up to it and press E, it will smear that paint all over your body. Now, there's a bit of story behind this, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. Basically, the cannibals will look at you with the red paint and think twice about attacking you. Sometimes they will kneel, sometimes they will just run away. However, take note that they can still attack you, it's just they've got a less chance of doing so. It's really good if you're trying to focus and get on with building something and you've got a bunch of cannibals attacking you all the time. So moving on to number seven is the most effective and easiest way to kill a mutant. So recently they've added bone arrows into the game. You can craft these using five feathers, five bones, and one stick. And in normal mode, it should take only around eight arrows to kill an armsy. And they're really easy to fire, they're really quick. It's a nice way just to defuse a hot situation. So number eight is something that I see a lot of beginner players do. I join a lot of worlds online and I see people building big bonfires. Now what they don't know about these bonfires is they actually attract cannibals and mutants. So if you're building one to keep a good light around your base, then it's also going to bring some attention towards it, which does make sense because it's a big, big bonfire. So try and avoid these at all costs, perhaps use the skull lights. Which brings me on to point number nine. So both the skull lamps, the one that stands on the ground and one that hangs from the ceiling, both are infinite light sources. They will never run out, even in the rain. You'll need to build quite a few of these though because they're not that bright. Last but not least, we're going to be talking about caves in number 10. So luckily enough, I did discover this quite early on in my hours in the game. However, a lot of players don't know this. So when you're first joining the forest, you will feel quite scared of the caves. You don't want to go in there, you don't know what's down there, you don't know the layout. It's dark, it's dreary, you don't like it. But they do have a sweet side. So once you go into the caves, 
Perhaps you've put some lights down, and you've killed all the cannibals, right? That cave is now completely secure. The cannibals don't respawn, cannibals can't come in through the entrance, you are completely safe and sound. So my point is, you could perhaps build a bed in here, put a drying rack down, just make this into a nice cozy little safe point. You don't have to build a big base, you can just go ahead and place some essential stuff to get you going again. So if you get a massive attack outside on your main base, you can flee into one of the caves and sleep it off. Alright everyone, so that sums up my top 10 beginner tips for the forest. All of these tips I really wish I knew when I first started playing. It would have made my life a lot easier. So if you did enjoy this list, please be sure to press the like button. If you've got any other video suggestions like this list that you would like to see, please be sure to comment them right below. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will catch you in the next video.